Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you how to upgrade the RAM on your Asus A15 Tough Gaming Laptop. So this Tough Gaming Laptop has 16GB of DDR5 4800MHz RAM. So it has two SODIMs, 8 plus 8, and I'm gonna upgrade them to 32GB using these TimeTech 16GB x 2 DDR5 5600MHz RAM. On top of showing you how to install the RAM physically, I'm going to be performing a benchmark before and after installing the RAM to see how much performance I will gain. So let's start first by benchmarking the laptop with the RAM that it has. So this is a laptop before installing the new memory. It has the 16 GB 4800 megahertz memory and this is the frequency here you can see it. And this is the memory size which is approximately 16 GB. So now I'm going to run Nova Bench to measure the performance of the memory before upgrading it. Let's close Armory Crate and let's run Nova Bench. And in Nova Bench, I'm gonna select only the RAM test. So I'm gonna click the drop down arrow here and then click on Memory Test. So this is a memory score, it is 333. The transfer speed is 22,219 megabytes per second and the latency is 126 nanoseconds. So let's go now, install the new memory and test it. This is the TimeTech Sodium 5600 MHz RAM that I'm gonna install in the laptop. So it is 16 gigabytes times two. So let me put it aside now. And this is a laptop. We need to turn it upside down and we need to remove the back cover of the laptop. You have all these screws here that you need to remove, 12 screws in total. And these screws are not the same. So when I remove them, I'm gonna put them next to where they should go so that I don't mix them. So get a Phillips head screwdriver that fits exactly in each screw. So this is the one here. And be patient when removing the screws. They are very easy to remove. So this one here cannot be removed. It holds and this is only to pop up the cover. So I'm gonna leave it. And this is the middle one that we need also to remove. So after you remove all the screws, you need to pry the cover open from this side here. Notice it is open a little bit. Do it slowly. Do not force it. And then I'm going to continue here. Be careful not to break the latches. So now when it pries open like this, you can open it this way. The RAM is hidden under this plastic bit. We need to just open it like this. We need it, so don't disregard it. And this is RAM modules. To remove the RAM, it's very easy. You see these two metal latches. Open them like this and the RAM will pop up. And just remove it. And this is the second one. And remove it too. Now, this is the new RAM. I'm going to open it. And notice the key on the RAM here. So the key should go in the key here. So this one should be like this. Just push it in gently. And then push it on the back here and it clicks in place. So now it is installed. Let's install the second one. So this one installs like this. And now both RAMs are installed. Now we need to put back the plastic cover. So this is at the same time also a heat sink. So put it very good here where it was exactly. And now we need to install back the cover. So start with the back of the cover here. Put it on the laptop like this. And now press down the back cover so that it clicks in place. Do it slowly, never force it when you use like plastic bits and sensitive material. Now we need to put the screws back and never over tighten the screws. So this is the RAM installed. Let's now turn on the laptop and first go into the BIOS to check it. So now I'm going to start the laptop after the upgrade. This is the first startup and I'm going to press F2 so that I go to the BIOS and we're going to check the memory in the BIOS. And you see here that the memory is 32 gigabytes. So let's go out of the BIOS and start the laptop now and the laptop started normally so now i'm gonna switch to screen recording to check the laptop's memory with armory crate and then benchmark it with nova bench 
And now I started Armory Crate on the laptop and notice here the memory frequency is 5600 megahertz, which is the correct frequency of these TimeTech Sodium RAM. And the amount of memory we have is around 32 gigabytes. So the upgrade succeeded fully. Now I'm gonna run Nova Bench. This is Nova Bench. Let's run the memory test. So this is the score. And you notice that the score increased drastically. So the memory score is 385 instead of 333. The transfer speed also increased. It was 22,219. It is now 23,787. And the latency is approximately the same. So it was 126 nanoseconds in the older RAM. And now it is 131 nanoseconds. By the way, if you want to check out this TimeTech Sodium RAM, I'm going to leave an affiliate link in the description below. If you make a purchase using my link, I will gain a small percentage, but this is at no cost to you, and this will help my channel. I hope that you liked my video and you found it useful. In case you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. I want to thank you all for watching. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you on the next video.